Welcome back guys to another basic Roblox Blender tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a UGC cape inside of Blender and then you can upload it to Roblox and make it a UGC item. I'm sure we all know by now that public UGC has been released. I did actually find out a little bit of extra news, which is kind of crazy. It turns out guys, to upload this stuff, you don't even need premium. You just need premium to put it on sale. So that's pretty cool. As long as you have 750 Robux, you can make your own accessories. Anyway, yes, in today's video, we are making a cape just like this one so shout out to Rainster who unfortunately quit YouTube I think it's a shame because I used to like him he was a really nice guy but yeah we're going to be making something similar to this and I think the most famous Roblox player which wears a cape is probably Fulton as you can see he's got his own so we're going to make one exactly like this and they're so easy to make and as you can see they look pretty cool so obviously make sure you have Blender if you just go on Blender's official website if you go and download you can download it here obviously it'll come up with whatever you're using so if you're using Windows just go and download it install it. Also guys, if you don't want to pay for Photoshop, paint.net is completely free and this is really good for making Roblox textures. Obviously you just download it from here, click on this and you can go and install that as well. Also make sure you have better Roblox installed, also known as BT Roblox. This extension pretty much lets you download meshes and textures so it's incredibly useful for making UGC accessories. And once you do have better Roblox installed, if you guys just go to this link, it's a render mesh dummy. I'll link this down below in the video's description. Pretty much we're going to use this inside of Blender to correctly scale our UGC cape. I know Roblox got rid of comments but these people had no idea how to download an OBJ which is kind of sad because all you do once you have the better Roblox extension is you click download and you click download as OBJ and here it is in my downloads folder so I'm just going to rename this so I know what it is. Roblox R6 uh, dummy avatar yeah I think that's a pretty good name so let's save it as this. Let's go and open up Blender and let's go and make our cape. So yeah you should have Blender installed by now if you don't just go and find it in your downloads folder go and install it and then go and open it. So Blender is going to open like this you just want to click off of this message as you can see we have a cube right here and what we're going to do guys normally we would delete the cube however in today's video we're going to keep it and we are going to use it so if you just go on to edit mode what you want to do is just press a to make sure you've got it selected then on your keyboard just press shift plus n that will recalculate the normals for you and it won't mess it up so it won't look weird in roblox studio so make sure you do that straight away and then guys we can scale this thing so what we're going to do is we're just going to get the scaling tool and we're going to use the red one to basically make it a lot thinner because we need to make this look like a cape right we're going for like more of the minecraft style capes i know on roblox you can get like massive ones with like armor on or pauldrons on or you know stuff like that but we're keeping it simple today because i know a lot of you guys are very new to blender then obviously we're going to use the blue scaling tool so with the left mouse click you just scale this just like you would in roblox studio Blender's really easy to learn to be honest then guys we're going to click on it we're going to change object mode to edit mode then we're going to select the corners so hold shift just select these two corners down here just so it's looking like that obviously you just hold a uh, left click and you know you can make these like little boxes then just press s on your keyboard that is for scale scale it down maybe something like that yeah that's pretty good then just go back into object mode if you just get the rotate tool we're just going to hold control and we're just going to turn it all the way around just so it's facing the right way and there you go that is how you make a cape obviously we need to put a design on it as well but i'll tell you what let's go and import our dummy just so we can scale it to the avatar properly so if we just go on file we're going to go to import guys and we just need to go to obj so find your um, roblox r6 dummy avatar just go and import this one and pretty much we're just going to scale the cape to this avatar so i guess i'll do it this way maybe uh, so if i just use the move tool let's just move it out a bit then we're just going to rotate this round holding control just so it's flat on the avatar there you go that looks good then we're just going to move it a bit closer and uh, yeah just scale this to how it would look on an avatar so you can use s to make it bigger uh, you can also make it wider like that if you want to and you can also rotate it a bit i would definitely recommend doing that just so it actually looks like a cape so it looks a bit more like fulton's one so let's just scale it a bit there as you can see it's sticking out a bit i mean i guess you could do it even more if you wanted to you could do it like that there you go i think that looks pretty good uh not bad at all you can make it bigger if you want to so if you want it more like a superhero cape maybe even angle it a bit more it doesn't really matter i would say back accessories are quite like uh, expensive to sell and stuff but they do look pretty cool like you know back accessories are always popular even though of UGC I'd mostly recommend it to make your own stuff but yeah you get the idea if you guys wanted to configure this more so if you're going to edit mode uh, you could even make this bit you know a bit wider by using s you could even make the top bit a bit wider to be fair by using s just make sure you go back into object mode don't forget that and there you go um I think I'm happy with how this looks I think it's scaled to the avatar quite well maybe I'll just make it a bit smaller and 
um, yeah, I think, guys, we can probably add a design onto this. So inside of paint.net, um, if you just open it, install it if you don't have it. If you guys just go to File, Go On New, um, copy my settings here because uh, this is a pretty good, like, scaling for a cape. And also, it's quite big, so the quality would be quite nice. Then just choose a color. I'm going to go with this reddish, orange sort of color because it matches my YouTube icon. And then, guys, if you add in a new layer down here, you can paste in any image you want. So go and copy an image, then do Control V just to paste it in. I'm probably going to use this because this is the image of my YouTube logo. Obviously, I own the copyright, so, um, you know, I can use it. That's fine. Yeah, that's the only thing I would say. Probably use an image that you own because otherwise it might be like copy struck down or something like that. But I'm going to merge these layers together. I'm just going to go on File, Save As and just give it a name. So I'll call it um, Shark Blocks Cape Texture, maybe. That sounds good. So let's save it as a PNG. Click on OK. And there you go. We're done for the texture. I like to keep these capes kind of simple. Back into Blender. Um, yeah, I think that came out pretty well, actually. So let's click on it. Let's go on this option here. Let's go and click on this dot. So then we're going to add in an image texture. So that'd be this option. Then just click on open. Just go and have a look. So it was my Shark Blocks Cape Texture. I put it in my downloads folder. You can go and find it. Then if you select on the viewport shading, pretty much, guys, we're just going to make the texture fit. So if we just go on UV editing, press A, zoom in a bit, then just enable the uh, viewport shading again. So that'd be this option. Yeah, pretty much we're just going to press A on this and we're just going to drag it until we see the Shark Blocks logo. Okay, so it's on that middle one there. Oh no, it's on the bottom one, I think. Oh, it is. Okay, but it's uh, all messed up. So let's just go and scale that round. This is going to be a very basic sort of UV map. Then if we just press S just to scale a bit more. So it's all on this one then, is it? Oh, I see. So if I, yeah, I might just actually split that. If I right click and then split and then just the whole section, if I just make that a bit bigger, there you go. That looks better. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to make this fill up the entire thing, I guess. If I just go and move this to the corner there, uh, you know, then I'd move these pieces over, kind of just scaling the whole thing. If you're wondering why it warps a bit, it's basically because of like, uh, you know, the cape, it's not exactly square. So sometimes your image might look a bit warped, but you know, you are making a cape, so it should still come out pretty fine. Then I guess we'll just select the rest. Let's scale that really small because the rest of the cape, I just want to be this orange red sort of color. So we'll stick that bit up there. And there you go. I think guys, we are done. If you go back onto layout, you can shade it smooth if you want to, and it might smooth off the edges or you can shade it auto smooth and that might look a bit better i don't even know what looks better really maybe smooth yeah that does look quite cool i'll go with that i guess yeah not too bad so there you go that is how you make your own cape and um yeah i guess i'm going to upload this to roblox i did make a video showing you guys how to upload stuff oh let me show you how to save the image and texture though so delete your dummy and um, select your cape just go on to file go on to export go on to obj this one here wavefront make sure to export this so just call it um my cape obj go and export it and then do the same with the image so go to uv editing go to image it'll be save as and then just call it version 2 and then go and save it and yeah i'm gonna open this in roblox studio as i was saying guys i've already done a video yesterday showing you guys how to get this set up so go and watch that video and i'll be back once i've uploaded it onto roblox oh i just want to quickly say guys i did actually have to switch the image around the other way pretty much i just used this tool and um, it was like back to front it was like that so i just changed it to that and then it looks a lot better so yeah keep in mind if you do make a cape um your image might be reversed don't forget that i almost didn't notice until i saw the shark text on the t-shirt there you go i fixed it so yeah let's go and upload it So yep, I just configured it in studio. As I said, guys, go and watch my other video, which is on the channel right now, because otherwise this video is going to be too long. But let me go and submit this for 750 Robux. So we're going to do pay and submit. And then guys, that is it. That is how you make a cape for your Roblox avatar. Obviously, the setup will be, you know, in my other video to show you how to get it working in studio. I just wanted to make this video a blender guide. And there you go, successfully submitted. So I guess we can check out on Roblox when it's been moderated. And so there we have it, guys. So the Shark Blocks cape is now done and as you can see this is what it looks like so pretty basic but still pretty decent when i wear it on my roblox avatar it looks just like this so yeah i'm happy with it i know it's sort of red so it doesn't really blend in with my avatar that well but i wanted to make it i thought it looked pretty cool and that is how you make your own cape so obviously you can add any logo or image you want to you can always use ai to make an image for you just make sure it's not copyrighted just in case but yeah that's pretty much it super easy to make and hopefully you guys were able to follow this tutorial as i said if you need help with uploading it there's another video links down below and yep i think that's it for today